Hi friends, today I want to make this canvas. Um, this is an 8x10, just a little one, but and I've got from the Dollarama. But I was inspired by Mark Mantano um, video. So what I'm going to do is make a really cool little um, canvas with flowers and I'm going to use my black gesso again. Um, for this. So I'm hoping that I can see everything. I might actually lift the camera up a tad. So it's gonna wiggle, 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 wiggle <laughs> a bit. There we go. So then you guys can see it all. And I can just finish adjusting. There we go. So now you can see it quite canvas and grab my paints, my paint brushes. Mm. And then we're gonna start. Okay. So I'm gonna do black gesso all over the whole canvas and on the edges as well. So I have my canvas covered in the black gesso. Um, it is the deco art um, ah, gesso. Come on. Of course, it's not going to focus. Anyway, there you go. And I'm going to use this Americana stencil for my flowers. So I'm going to do that. And. I'm going to use, I think, titanium white for my flower, which is right here. Of course, I didn't pull it out. Titanium white right on top. Yay! Please stop walking. And let's see what other colors I have. I want to look for a pink. I'm trying to kind of do the same idea that um, Mark Mantano did. Um, painting a canvas and I thought well we have some flower um, stencils we homemade or whatever that we can try the same idea so I don't have a quite a pink but I'm going to use this kind of red Right here, and and then the titanium white to mix with it to make the pink, and and then the white flower as well. So there we go. So I got things. So let's just try it out. I'm just going to use my fingers, I think, with the stencil. See how that goes. So I'm just getting on the petals here, and I'm thought, oh, well, it was just stuck in my mind. I really want to try it out with the stencil. So and I like the gesso black background. And I'm going to use some of my writers that I have that I hadn't packed away yet for this project. And it's going to be fun. So, I'm going to do another flower here. And then go around the corner too, around the edge. And I'm going to do some pink as well, so I'm going to mix it in. Oh, careful, careful. I'm trying to be a little quiet, guys, so I hope you can hear me. Um, 
my husband and my granddaughter are sleeping upstairs, so we, Kendra and Cora are kind of crafting over here too. And, I'm sweaty. <laughs> and, and we're trying to be quiet. So I'm going to mix with my the red with and make it pink. It's pretty pink. And see how that turns out. We hope it turns out good. Change it a little bit up right here. Using my fingers, try to be careful. Moving my stencil around and try not to get into my other paint. Painted pieces. Thank you, Ken. Um, let's see. That's looking cute, I think. I hope so. Let's make this one right here pink. So, since I have lots of my stuff packed away, I like using my fingers instead, and it's actually really cool and looking really good. So, dryer, dryer's done. <laughs> and, um, looking really good, I think. So, what do you think, girls? It's beautiful. Yeah. So, we're the night owls. It's not that late, but... So, Daddy it's works late. late. Yeah, or works really early, so... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm gonna go do that in a minute. In a minute. that in a minute. Now I'm going to try to do a little bit more. Work. So I'm just playing with it right now, adding some flowers and being very careful so I don't go over the things that are there and covering it up. Or if I do, I make it look at least half decent. I'm gonna go around the corner here with this. I'm gonna do that with all the other ones. They're on the edge. Kind of close, cutting it close, flipping it over so I can do the edge and make it look beautiful. Yes, make it come around. So I gotta do that with all the other ones as well. So it's kind of getting some paint everywhere, but that's okay. So I like that. <laughs> okay, I made a little bit of a lighter pink, um, and I'm just going to kind of scrape it on. I was using my fingers. I think I'm going to scrape it on a bit with the palette knife here. Get that paint to the end and just play with it. Since I have you know, most of everything packed. I'm just going to kind of play with it and go for it here. And it's okay that you got a bit of a messy look. So I'm just getting some lighter pinks. Grab my cobalt um, 
carbon is black and just a little bit there. Let's see how that looks. Running a little bit of that in there because I don't have the painters and I want to make some lines in my white flowers. I hope I'm not talking too quiet, guys, but I want to make some lines in my white flowers, kind of like the way Mark Montano um, used his some kind of writers to put his black lines in. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to use the palette knife. And go for it. That's pretty. Thank you. And just kind of scratch at it. And I'm going to do it with my white ones first. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it with my pink ones. We'll see what I do. It's kind of like a mix. It's just a, I don't know, what's that called, guys? Um, <laughs> they're whispering. <laughs> Distracting me. Okay, that's enough. So I'm trying to think of the word, but I can't think of it. So I'm doing the side as well. palette knife from the dollar store as well. I've had it forever. There we go. It's looking really cool. And that is that. Let's see how we look on some of the things. It really looks nice on the whites. Makes it pop. Turning it over, going crazy with it. And we're just going to have a nice piece. No, I'm not sure about that one. Just the end so you can kind of scrape them. I think it worked. I like it. So I hope you guys um, give this a try. It's pretty fun. I have to add some leaves, I think, now. And... Drop of black. I just want them to look a little more wispy. And it's looking good. There we go. That's good. Good, 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 good. Now, I'm going to use my blue teal here. The, the This one here, the cobalt teal. And I might add, it might be a little bright, so I'm going to try a little bit of white to see how I like it. I might just use my um, palette knife to um, add this to the canvas as well. 
I might be too quiet, guys, if I am. It's, sorry. My bad. Yeah, I'm going to use that for the palette knife as well. Or too bad. Because I just like the way it's going on there. Just shaping it on. I'm just going to add a little darkness to them. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. So now I've got a bit of a darker one here. And there we go. I think we got it, guys. I think we got it. Perfect. And mm, this guy could be a little bit more. I've got a little bit of pink in there. That's buggy. blue. Just a little more blue. There we go. So it's kind of... I'm going to add a little bit of white to it and really put lighter blue on that blue-green. some of them here, the little darker ones. And they're not quite dry, so that's okay. There, I love it. Hi friends, I'm going to Put on your, I don't know, this is antiquing cream, white, titanium white. So use the titanium white um, for the flowers. I don't know if it's going to look different or not, but I'm going to throw some of that in there. It is a little creamier. So, uh, yeah, it is a little creamier. You might not be able to see it in the video, but it is a little creamier. So that's cool. It's a little buttery looking. So I like that. I'm just going to add that. To my flower centers. Dipping, I'm just dipping it straight into the bottom. And with the brush is kind of pouncing it on the centers. And that's it. Thought I'd give him some centers. And see how that looks. There we go. Very pretty. I like it. Let's throw a couple pieces in there. It's just a little different. It's 
so I like it. Okay. It is almost done, but then I found this. It's called Interference. It's turquoise, and it comes out really kind of almost white. And I kind of brushed it onto the canvas a bit here and there. And it looks... It's got the little turquoise in there, so... I thought I would... A little bit here and there. putting a little bit more on my mat. I don't want too much. Uh, let me try some on my flower here. inside my centers I'm not sure how it's going to turn out on the color but I see how it turns out on the black kind of and I'm just going to put some on my side don't need to put too much This is now done. I like that. So I hope you guys heard me well enough and oops, like this little video. I got my little notes in there for what I use so then I don't um, forget to tell you. I gotta write this one last one. So that is it. I hope you guys like my little canvas. This is my eight by ten, I think it was. And there we go. I got my sides done here a little bit, and the bottom. But I didn't do, you know, where I didn't have flowers flowing over. So that is it. And I hope you guys give it a try with the gesso and the black back, and find a flower stencil or make one and give it a go with some different color flowers and have fun with it. Don't forget to use your palette knife. This is what I used a lot of and it really turned out really cool. So give it a try. Hope you guys like it. Don't forget to craft like a duck. Talk to you guys later. Bye bye.